Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are The state police and intelligence agencies have been instructed to make all efforts to counter increasing misuse of social media for conducting hate campaigns against various communities. Chief Minister Amrinder Singh directed them to adopt overt and covert measures to effectively counter such campaigns launched by Pakistan's ISI. Madhu Azad has been elected the mayor of Gurugram with the senior deputy mayor and the deputy mayor also being women. In a setback to the BJP, the Congress-supported Pramila Gaje Kabalana was elected the senior deputy mayor. Delhi has recorded a slight improvement in the air quality, which has remained very poor over the last few days, though the situation in the NCR was a little better. This is due to the change in the wind direction and slight rise in temperature. Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has opposed GI tagging of Madhya Pradesh 13 Basmati producing districts. He said that it was illegal and will adversely affect other states and urged the Prime Minister to stop the move. Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has said that he has no idea why Rajya Sabha Congress MP Pratap Singh Bajwa was nurturing a grudge against his government. Bajwa had reportedly offered his resignation from the Rajya Sabha to Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi three months back. Two sisters from Pakistan have been released from the Amritsar Central Jail and allowed to return to Pakistan by the Atari Vaga border. They were arrested nearly 11 years ago and jailed for carrying drugs. A multi crore scholarship scam involving various educational institutions has been unearthed in Punjab. Two departmental officers have been placed under suspension for scam in the academic welfare scheme, hobnobbing with the scamsters and gross negligence of duty. Morning fog and smog from stubble burning took its toll in Punjab on Friday. Four people died after their car fell into a minor irrigation canal near Abohar town, around 310 kilometers from Chandigarh. The Thapar University in Patiala has signed a comprehensive institutional agreement with Israel's Tel Aviv University. This covers research, teaching and student exchange between both institutions. The United Basketball Alliance has signed Indian star Satnam Singh, the hoopster from Punjab who became the first Indian national to be drafted into the NBA will be one of the key members this season. This is the end of the news bulletin but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-American businesses and resources. From accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day.